Hey, so just wanted to give you guys a quick look behind the scenes. I'm here at Icon Collective, um, and I don't need my badge, but thank you very much. Um, here at Icon Collective, and we're shooting the branding course that I wrote for the Music Business Program, and we're porting it over into their online school, and so I'm here with Zach, who's holding the camera. Yeah, <laughs> and he's got his dual R5 set up here, along with his lighting rig, and he does all the video work for Icon, and so, after this, I don't think he knows this, but I want to ask him a few questions on camera because I'm really curious about like what it's like working for a big brand like this as a built-in cameraman and as their main content producer. And he's just, we've hit it off really well through this process. And so he has no idea that I'm about to do this, but we're going to, we're going to ask him some questions and uh, yeah, I just thought this might be interesting for you guys. So be right back. What's up? Yeah. Um, so, Zach, that's my kid's name. I was excited to meet you. I, we met each other on email, and I get here and I have no idea what to expect. I'm like the on-camera talent, and you're the camera guy. And I'm never on camera here at Icon, so this is a bit shaky for me, not used to it. Everyone's always like, dude, when are you going to do your interview? And I'm like, uh, when someone else with a camera knows what they're doing. <laughs> Enter <Me>. Jeff. <laughs> So it's just been, first of all, it's been really cool to work with you. You're such a pro. You've made me very comfortable through this process. So thank you. The stuff you're creating for Icon looks fucking amazing. Thank I you. probably shouldn't thank curse you. because of monetization issues on YouTube. But anyway, this is Icon. Everyone curses here. I just wanted to give you props because your stuff looks awesome. It's clear you know what you're doing. And we were talking, you've been in this space for like 13 years. Is that right? Something Not like here, that. But I've been doing filmmaking directing, space. filmmaking, writing for probably about like 12, 13 years, something like that. And then I've been doing cinematography and editing for the past 10. Amazing. A long, long career in the business. And before that I was doing acting, so. <laughs> What's one of your favorite things about like being freelance versus, you know, working here at Icon? Like what are some of the pros to both? Uh, freelance versus working full time. That's a great question. Uh, before I worked here at Icon, I was doing completely freelance work. So I was okay. doing music videos. I was doing uh, short films, commercials, basically whatever would come my way, product, vid product videos. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I enjoy that a lot. There's a lot of creative freedom in in freelance work yes. and like going out and seeking your own job, seeking, you know, working with artists, getting to know people. There's more time, obviously. You have more time that you can do stuff. Uh, but it's also a bit scary, you know? Yes. I mean, because you're always waiting for your next project. You're always waiting for your next gig. Um, and I took this job right after the the pandemic, essentially, and I was like, man, I don't want to go out and search for <laughs> search for Stop. jobs right now. Right now, you know. And I, I uh, saw an application for this. My friend told me about it, so I applied, and uh, I got the gig. And I've absolutely loved working here at Icon. I mean, I get to be very creative here mm -hmm. still, and I think that's what interested me about the job. It wasn't like a oh, you're just gonna shoot these product videos. You're gonna do them exactly as we tell you. Every and day, then, same yeah. way. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I have plenty of friends who, who make great money doing that. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I I don't know. I just enjoy the creativity of being able to tell an artist's story, come up with a concept, and there's a lot of that here. We get to work with a lot of alumni and come up with interesting ways to showcase their story. Right. And I think that's what drew me to it. Love that. You mentioned that you saw uh, the job listing here. Mm -hmm. I think you told me a good friend of yours kind of put in a good word for you. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, it is true. So your network... <clears throat> network real. is very important. Yes. Very important. Uh, yeah, I did have to apply, obviously, but of course. I didn't. I found out about the gig because a friend of mine, Joe, who is a, an even better cinematographer than I am, that dude's amazing, but he's always working on like big sets, like films, uh, and he told me, he was like, oh, I met this dude, uh, there's the school icon, they're looking for a videographer, and he's like, I just can't do it right now, man, you nice. should apply. And at the time, I was like, I'm not that guy. I like, I didn't even think I was good enough, really, uh, really. I, I didn't think I was good enough. I had a massive imposter syndrome. I was, like, I was like, nah, this ain't gonna work. And he's like, just apply for it, bro. And so then I sent an application, and then they asked for some video samples, stuff that I had to shoot specifically for this, and I got the game. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that you're open about that because so many, and it's one of the, yeah, I know you don't know my content, but a big thing I, I sort of push is the breakthroughs that we all have to go through on a continual basis. And mentally. And it's not even like yeah. once you get the gig, then you're like, oh cool, I'm totally qualified, I'll never have that thought again. Because sometimes 
We wake up and we still have that thought in the middle of a job. No, when I started working here, I still felt that to a degree. I didn't just suddenly, the right. light snapped. I was like, oh, well, I got the gig, so clearly I'm not an imposter. No, when I started, yeah. I was still like, kind of like constantly like, oh, I don't want to mess up. You know, like, what if I shoot this wrong or this right. doesn't look good, then I'm out. You know, or I don't know, something like that. Right. But, uh, That's what we think. But yeah, I mean, started shooting stuff and it was like consistently, everyone's like, oh, this content is so great. Like, this is better than anything we've had before. And I mean, once you start hearing that, you're like, okay, I can, I can yeah. sit into it a little right. bit, you know. But I think a bit of imposter syndrome isn't a bad thing because yeah. it really does uh, encourage you to be on your toes and to make the best content you can. Just don't let it stop you from applying for shit. <laughs> yeah, don't let it stop you in the process. If it mm. motivates you to make the best thing you possibly can. It almost can. stopped me from applying here and right. look what I'm doing now. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, uh, bro, thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Thanks for We're having gonna... me on camera, Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> man, I'm excited. We're gonna get started with our day three of this shoot. We've got two more lessons to get through. I'm crushing it. We're excited, mostly because of this guy. No, nah, Jeff Ivy has been is... breezing through the content faster than we expected, so this has been a, a super chill shoot. This dude knows what he's talking about, knows, knows what he's doing, Thanks, makes our man. job a lot easier. Thanks, buddy. Do you have a personal channel that they can follow? Other than the icon stuff, currently it's just plug. currently it's just my plug away. You, you can check out my band, Make Out there Monday. I shoot all of our video content, uh, all of our music videos. Uh, other than that, it's just my Instagram where I post some of my video content, which is just at Zach Shada. Cool, man. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> See you on the flip. Thanks, Jeff. You're the best, dude. Thank you. <laughs>